the, the uh, green shoots of recovery that we saw in the September quarter certainly have come through in the December quarter with a 5% uh, increase in both the house sales and the multi-residential sales in the Perth market. This has seen the increase in uh, trade-up activity along with the stronger first-home buyer activity and in the house market we've seen the median um, house price move up uh, by 1% and uh, this is the first time we've actually seen an upward movement in price since the, uh, the peak of the market in March 2010. And, and that increase has been attributed to say two trade-up buyers where we've seen stronger uh, sales in the $500,000 to $700,000 range. Also the multi-residential market, yeah, we've seen a 5% increase in turnover there and a marginal increase in the uh, median price. But that said, look, I think it's important that we've got to put the uh, increase in activity into context. The Perth housing market is still operating 25% below the uh, long-term average and the median in the multi-residential market is also some 40% off its long-term average. Now, turning to uh, other parts of the market, the listings has been an important uh, uh, in indicator for us and we've seen a good downward trend across 2011 and we've uh, finished the year at uh, 13,500 uh, listings. We saw an 11% uh, drop in the month of December, but that's purely a seasonal decline, um, which we will expect some of those properties removed from the market over the Christmas period will come back in the new year. The other real important factor in the in December figures is the increase in rents in the, in the Perth rental market. The vacancy rate has tightened down to 2.3% and we've seen the, uh, the median house rent uh, move up from 400 to 420 and the overall rent uh, is now 400. Both the listings and the, uh, and the rental market are two key things that we're going to be looking at uh, in the coming months to, uh, to test the, uh, the, uh, the pressure on the market. And so look out for uh, our review on the, uh, the year that was, 2011, in, uh, in a couple of weeks' time.